Hello everyone and welcome back to my uh, Blender tutorials. Today we're going to start with building the foundation for a house. I just want to go ahead and let everyone know that this is not necessarily a beginner's tutorial. Um, if you have not yet learned the basics of Blender, please refer back to my page to my oldest videos so that you can learn the hotkeys and such to keep up with this tutorial. So when we build a house, um, the first thing we want to do is get a house layout. I found a really good site. Okay, there is a link that I will be posting in the video that will bring you to this site so that you can look at the homes. Um, you would then have to choose a home and download the floor plan layout by right clicking and saving image as or whatever. Make sure that you know where you save your image. Also a thing that I want to point out is it might be wise not to get a floor layout that has walls that are not straight such as this one at the bottom right here. They could get very complicated to uh, create in the uh, blender. So once you've downloaded your image go ahead and right click on your light here and your block, your cube, press X and delete. You're gonna press 7 to go to top mode Press Shift A, select a plane, center that plane up. Once you have your uh, plane out, you're in top mode, you want to come over here to the right side of your screen and you should see all of these properties. Um, mine are collapsed, yours may not be collapsed, um, so collapse them all, then go down to where it says background images and you want to select add image then you want to go to open go to the file that you saved your picture into and select the file okay you want to make sure that background images is checked and you want to turn the opacity all the way up also um, one thing I didn't point out before is make sure that you're not in perspective view because if you are in perspective view, then your image will not uh, come up properly. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, what you want to do is find a corner of your house. You're going to grab and drag that plane to that corner. All right, so once we drag that to the uh, bottom right hand corner of our screen, we are going to tab into edit mode and zoom in um, A to select all and we're going to scale it down until it is about the size of the actual corner of the house here So, grab it, position it, try to position it as perfectly as possible to the corner also what we're going to do is come down here and the method of display we're going to select wireframe now the reason we select wireframe is so that we can see through the object and ensure that we're staying on the borders. So what we want to do now is basically create the outline of the house. So we're going to follow all of the black walls like all over. Um, when we come to a window or a door we want to stop the extrusion and uh, start a new one. So for instance I'm going to box, highlight these, E to extrude. I'm going to extrude on my Y axis and I'm going to go all the way up to where this wall right here comes out and then I'm going to stop E to extrude and go up. Now the reason we do this is so that when we come back to add these walls we don't have to create new edge loops because that could be a big hassle. So if you just go from this bottom one all the way to here then you're going to have to go back and add a whole bunch of new edge loops and we don't want to do that. So E to extrude and also you'll notice this uh, white spot right here. Now what that is is a window. So we're going to stop there as well. E to extrude, Y, right across the window. And just carry on all around the house. Um, once you're done doing the complete outline of the house you could go back and do the interior 
or you could just do the interior as you go along. See how I missed one here? Now I have to control R, do two, click it in, then I have to readjust. So just try not to miss those walls. Select and go on the axis, zoom in, E2 extrude. See this one needs to go over a little. Just try to align everything as perfectly as possible when you're doing this. It is a very tedious process. Um, just try to make the best of it. It's also really important so that the walls to the house are actually even because you really don't want uneven walls in the end um, I know we're not going to be able to make them perfect by any means but we can make them as close as possible so B now this one is um, just a little bit if you zoom in pretty closely you can see that there's a little black spot that comes off to uh, capture this door when it swings close. So you also want to watch out for things like that. Um, I like to create my walls as I go along. It seems a bit more convenient to me. So now for these corners um, I know I told you to stay away from houses like this, but if you decided to ignore my warning and get a house with a corner, we're going to go through how to do this really quick. Basically, you want to go out until it begins to hit the uh, corner of the bottom. And then you want to take this and you want to drag it along that uh, x-axis by itself until it reaches the corner. Now here comes the tricky part which is after you create the slant you have to bring it down but you also have to make sure that everything stays even. So what we want to do here is see how it's uneven we're gonna grab that and then we're just gonna grab it and try to make it as even as possible now a good way to do this is to look at your lines here and when you get a straight line it's going to be a little more even. Like if you look very closely you'll see that there are little uh, crookednesses like in my line. So that's not really that big of a deal here. More of what you want to focus on is the bottom here because you have to extrude that out to create the rest of the corner of that wall. And if you're having a hard time, just hold down shift while you move your mouse, and it'll make it move much more slowly to try to find that perfect spot. That looks pretty good to me. Also, you're going to want to zoom in pretty closely when you're doing uh, something like this. So come down, hold shift. See if you can get it lined. That looks pretty good to me. We're going to zoom out. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go the rest of the way around the house. Um, and then come back. So basically, guys, just make sure that you skip over the windows because. In this tutorial, I'm not going to be covering how to go back and fix the windows. So just create the entire outline of the house. Make sure that you skip over the windows unless you prefer the window not to be there. Okay, so now that we've finished the uh, layout of our house, what we're going to do is um, line some vertices up. Now, the way that we go about doing this is, it, as you can see in the bottom of my house, um, these may not be these vertices right here may not be at the same area on the uh, three-dimensional map as these over here are. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, first off, I'm going to show you guys how to connect the final portion of your house. 
don't just extrude and drag it over. Once you reach the last leg or the last section that you have to cut off, just click the uh, start point, these two vertices here, and your end point, these two vertices here, and press F to face. All right, and as you can see, um, yes, they are quite uneven because I have a huge slant here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my very original vertice, and over here in our tools bar, we have a tab that says transform. So what we want to do is go to our transform and look at the y-axis for this one. As you can see, it's 0 0.81790. So what I want to do is deselect all, press B to box select these right here, and it was 0 0.8910, I think. So then click on the y-axis, 0 0.8910. So apparently it's going to make me do them all individually. Either way, um, you should be able to box select all. I'm not sure what happened here. But as you can see now that I've uh, changed everything over, these lines on the bottom are fairly straight. So what we're going to do is the y-axis on this one is negative 1.01604. Now a big key factor is that you want to make sure that you put the negative in there. Negative 1.01604 and if you're even one number off it's not going to be the same also you can use this um, for this option over here as you can see I have a very complex uh, corner system going on here so what I want to do is find the one that is the best fit um, I like this top one here better so you want to get your X axis Um, what it is on the X and you want to type that number in to these down here so our number is 6983770 right, there's also an easier way to do this that I want to go over because I just remembered um, if we come down to the bottom here where um, our snap tool is we can go ahead and turn that on you'll know that it's on because the uh, magnet will turn orange you want to change your selection to vertex and then go to closest our cursor has to be over so when we press control and our cursor goes over the um, item what will happen is it will align it with that specific item now it doesn't seem like it will help us very much right now but if we grab the item and let's say we grab these well this one and we grab it and we press X then we come down here to the bottom and hover our cursor over this vertice right here it's going to automatically align the vertice that we have grabbed on the X axis of the one that we're trying to place so we grab that and then we click to let it down grab this one put it on the x-axis and there you go grab this one x-axis perfect grab x-axis come down to this one on the bottom grab x-axis and come down to this one on the very bottom so now we have a pretty good aligned um, house for the most part. Okay, so we go back to object mode and what we want to do here is go ahead and create the dimensions for our house so that we can properly make it so that it doesn't look like dysfunctional. So what we want to do is go over here to our transform tab and we want to go down to our dimensions and we want to 
For our x dimension, we want to look right here, where it says 13.4 meters, and then we want to put that, 13.4, there. And then for our y, it's going to be 11.4. Now, what that does is so that whenever we um, raise our house off the ground, it's not too slim or like too disgusting looking. It's going to evenly proportion the house. So now we're just going to go into edit mode and as you see based on our house we have um, our windows and doors. So the first thing we're going to do is un um, highlight all by pressing A and then we're going to hold shift and right click on our doors. Now that we have all our doors unselected, we're going to go to front view, we're going to extrude, and it's going to naturally go up on the um, Z axis. So what we're going to do is press plus one and enter. So as you can see, we've started a foundation for our home and what we want to do now is go back to top mode as you're trying to select these windows wireframe we're now selecting windows uh, just make sure that you select all of your windows because there won't be a portion of this program in which I teach you how to fix these things. I made a mistake. That is not a window there. That is a door, but I will fix it later. Okay, so now that we have all of our windows selected, we're going to go back to front view, extrude, and we're going to do 1.4 press enter so what we want to do from here is go ahead and close off our windows so how we're going to do that is we're going to go and find our windows and doors and then we're going to click the four vertices on the top of it and face them off so it's just going to be really quick try to run through and patch up all of the holes that you see from the outside of the house. You also, if you have doors on the inside, want to go ahead and patch those up as well. Now that I have everything faced, almost. So everything on the outside looks pretty good, but I also want to get the inside as well. That one looks a little funny, but I'm not going to worry with it because it's not a big deal. Okay, so now I have basically the um, outline or foundation of our home. So we're going to go ahead and finish this tutorial here, and hopefully within the next two weeks, um, depending on how well this does, I will have the other tutorial out.